Hello friends, in this video I will tell you about the JSON files. So first the JSON syntax. In JSON, the data is of name value pairs. The data is in name value pairs. Now here this data contains the name or key called my name and its value is Sanjeev. So this is a JSON data. Now in JSON, the data is separated by commas. So here this is a JSON object and it contains three different data which has three different keys name, age and registration number and these data's name and age are separated by this comma whereas age and registration number are separated by this comma. Next is curly brackets hold objects. In JSON, this is a JSON object and it is held within curly brackets. You can see this curly brackets in red. So anything inside these curly brackets will make one JSON object. This is one JSON object and it contains three different datas which are key value or name value pairs separated by these commas. Now square brackets hold arrays or you can say an array of JSON objects. So here this is a JSON array held within square brackets which are in red here and this contains a JSON object. An array is also a list so this is a JSON list which contains this JSON object. This is one JSON object which contains these two datas with key name and age. This is another JSON object with same keys name and age and each of these data or JSON object is separated by a comma. So here these datas are separated by this comma whereas this JSON object, this first JSON object and second JSON object is separated by this second, this comma. Now this is the second JSON object and third JSON object. These are separated by commas. And this third and fourth are again separated by this comma. So these curly brackets, these square brackets contain four different JSON objects which means an array of objects separated by commas and each of these objects contain two different datas with keys name and age. Now this objects, the JSON objects are the kind of data which can be used in the block JSON string to map variable. So if we have to use this block JSON to map variable, then we have to put a data like this, which is a JSON object. And if we have to use this block JSON to list map, then we have to use an array, a JSON array, which means a data like this an array of objects means a list of objects where this is a single object and if we have to convert it to list map we have to use a list of objects this is a single object whereas this is a list of objects so this can be converted to a list map whereas a single object can be converted to a map variable Next is a name value pair consists of a field name or key. This is the field name or key. It is always a string enclosed in double quotes followed by a colon. So here is this colon followed by a value. And this is uh, the value. Uh, value is usually a string but it can be of other types also. Now next I will tell you the types of values in 
json the values must be one of the following types first is it can be a string here the string the value 27 is enclosed in double quotes so this is a string now next it can also be a number of type integer or double here for this age the value is 27 is a number now it can also be a json object here for age the value is a json object enclosed by enclosed in these curly brackets and it contains two different data original and fake separated by the comma so the value of a json name or key can also be a json object then value of a json name or key can also be a list of objects here you can see a json array which is enclosed in these square brackets and it contains three different three different json objects the three different json objects contain two different data each separated by commas and each of these json objects these three objects are separated by these commas so the value of a key or name can also be a json array next the value of a key or name can also be a boolean like true or false and the value can also be null which means nothing next is the json files the file type of json files is dot json so if you have written any all these things and you have to save the file you have to save it with extension dot json and the mime type for json text is application slash json so if you have to pick only a json file using file picker you will put this as mime type application slash json that's all in this video or that's all about json now i will show you how to use this here I have an application which contains this text view 1, 2 and 3 which will display the data from a list map sorry it will display our data from a map variable which means from a JSON object so here I have already used this JSON object this is a JSON object with key name age and registration number and their values it is converted to a map variable and then the same keys are retrieved from the map variable to display in text view 1, 2 and 3. This is how you can use the JSON object. Now if you have to use the JSON array then you have to use a list view. For this list view you have to use a custom view which is list in this case and the custom view here my custom view contains these two text views text view 3 and text view 2 so first I will put this kind of data which is a JSON array and convert it to a list map or map list and then I will use set list custom view data and list view refresh data to display it in a list view. After that, I will use list view on bind custom view to display the name and age in the map list in text views 3 and 2. Now, I will show you how it will look like. This is how it looks. This is the data from the JSON object whereas all this is the data from the JSON array which means the JSON list so this is how you can use JSON in sketchware and you can create JSON files or strings
i hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this video